I will now explain how to use the TS27R, which is a tool length measuring device. The tool length measuring device was developed to automatically measure and monitor a tool during machining after installing it on a machining center. You can detect a defective tool, including tool breakage and abrasion, in the early stages by continuously monitoring the shape of a tool. First, you can measure tool length on the Renishaw GUI screen. Press the Custom 1 REN GUI or GUI button on the Operation panel to open the Renishaw GUI screen as shown on the screen. Select the soft key T setup at the bottom of the screen. Let's look at how to use the length and length diameter soft key at the bottom of the screen. First, let's see how to measure length manually. Select the manual measurement method and select center as the tool type. Select the auto mode, press the start cycle button to start a cycle and check the M00 operation. Change to the handle mode and move tool to 10 millimeters above the stylus. Set the feed rate override to 0%. Select the auto mode and press the start cycle button to check whether the remaining distance is minus 15 millimeters. Change the feed rate override to 100% and measure the tool length. Select Eccentric as the tool type and enter the tool diameter value. Select the Auto mode, press the Start Cycle button to start a cycle, and check the M00 operation. Change to the Handle mode and move tool to 10 mm above the stylus. Set the Feed Rate Override to 0%. Select the Auto mode and press the Start Cycle button to check whether the remaining distance is minus 15 mm. Change the Feed Rate Override to 100% and measure the tool length. Next, let's look at the Automatic Tool Measurement Method. Select the Automatic Measurement Method and select Center as the tool type. Enter the pertinent tool number. The tool position does not matter when measuring automatically. Select the Auto Mode and press the Start Cycle button to start the measurement. Select Eccentric as the tool type and enter the tool number and the diameter value of the tool. Select the Auto Mode and press the Start Cycle button to start the measurement. Next, we'll look at how to manually measure the length diameter. Select the Manual Measurement method and select Eccentric as the tool type. Select the Auto Mode, press the Start Cycle button to start a cycle, and check the M00 operation. Change to the Handle Mode and move tool to 10 mm above the stylus. Set the Feed Rate Override to 0%. Select the Auto Mode and press the Start Cycle button to check whether the remaining distance is minus 15 mm. Change the Feed Rate Override to 100% and measure the tool length. Next is the automatic measuring method of length diameter. The approximate tool length should be entered in the offset value when measuring automatically. If you select the automatic measurement method and input the tool number, the tool length and diameter will be entered automatically. Number 10. Select the auto mode and press the start cycle button. Number 
next, I will explain how to use T continuous and T arbitrary. T continuous and T arbitrary can measure the center tool only. The tool position does not matter in the same way as it does when using the automatic measurement method. For T continuous, input the first tool and the last tool in the cycle argument field. Select the auto mode and start a cycle to measure continuously, starting with the tool designated first and continuing to the one designated last. For the T-arbitrary tool, input the tool number you want instead of the sequential number in the cycle argument value from the first tool to the next tool. Select the Auto mode and press the Start Cycle button to start the measurement. Next, let's look at the measuring method using the M code in the program. Use the M527 code as the tool length measurement code. Input the M527T offset number and execute it to automatically measure the tool length. Input the D tool diameter of M27T offset number and execute it to automatically measure the tool length and diameter. The M528 code is used to detect a tool breakage. If you input and execute the M528T offset number in a tool whose length has been already measured and whose offset value has been entered, the difference with the existing offset value is measured automatically. That is the end of my explanation on how to use the TS27R, an automatic tool length measuring device.